Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will share with you how I made this herbal leaf on conditioner with neem powder, amla powder, moringa, and haritake powder. Here is a list of the ingredients used in this recipe. I will be preparing a batch of 100 grams. We start by preparing the herbal extract. I take a glass beaker. Put the amla powder, the moringa powder, the haritake powder, and the neem powder into the beaker. Pour your distilled water into a clean pot. Bring the water to boil. Then pour the hot water into the beaker containing the herbs. Mix for some seconds. Then cover the beaker and keep aside for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, mix for some seconds. Filter it the first time using a strainer and filter the second time through a cheesecloth. See what I collected after using a cheesecloth. You definitely do not want to have this in your leaf on conditioner. After you filter it, Measure the quantity that you need and put in a glass beaker or a heat resistant container. As I am preparing a batch of 100 grams, I will be using 70 grams of this herbal extract. I add 4 grams of vegetable glycerin to the herbal extract. Mix well. Glycerin helps hydrate the scalp, eliminate breakage, regulate sebum production, and stimulate a healthy scalp environment. After mixing in the glycerin, I keep the beaker aside and prepare the oil face. To prepare the oil face, we also take a glass beaker or a heat resistant container. Pour the oil into the beaker. I am using argan oil for this recipe. Argan oil helps to moisturize and condition the hair it improves the health of the scalp, nourishes the hair, and it is believed to have anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and antifungal effect, which can also help soothe sensitive or itchy scalps. I add in the shea butter. Shea butter is a very effective hair conditioning ingredient. It contains vitamin E, which helps nourish the hair and reduces breakage. I add the BTMS-50 to the beaker. BTMS-50 is a mild primary emulsifier and an excellent conditioning agent that delivers elegant cationic emulsions for both skin and hair care products. Due to its extreme mildness, it is also suitable for leave-in conditioners. Emulsions made with this emulsifier feel soft and powdery on the skin and deliver excellent detangling properties to hair conditioners. I add in the settled alcohol. Unlike rubbing alcohols, which are known to have a drying and dehydrating effect on the skin and the hair, settled alcohol is loaded with the emollient property, which has a moisturizing and conditioning effect on the hair and the skin. It adds moisture to hair strands, helps to detangle the hair easily, making it easy to comb. It adds thickness to the product and acts as an emulsifying agent. The next step is to place both beakers in a water bath. Heat on medium heat to about 70 degrees Celsius using the double boil method. When they are ready, remove the beakers from the water bath. Then quickly pour the hot water face into the hot oil face. Mix for some seconds with a hand whisk. Then with an electric hand mixer for the mixture to homogenize. I mix for about two minutes. Then I mix again with a hand whisk for some seconds to control the consistency. 
as the mixture is not fully homogenized. I will mix once more with the electric hand mixer for about one minute. Then I control the consistency again with a spatula. As the mixture has homogenized, I continue mixing until it thickens. When the temperature is around 40 degrees Celsius, I start adding in the heat sensitive ingredient. I add in the vitamin E, which will act as the antioxidant. Then I add in the preservative. After adding in the vitamin E and the preservative, I mix well. Then I mix again with an electric hand mixer for some seconds for all the ingredients to bind well. Then with a spatula again. The next step is to test the pH value of the conditioner. To do this, I add 2 grams of the conditioner to 8 grams of distilled water. Mix well. Then dip my pH strip into the mixture for about 10 seconds. Remove it and see where the pH value is at. The pH value of this leaf on hair conditioner is around 5, which is perfect. To obtain an accurate pH result, please always use a digital pH meter. The next step is to put the conditioner into a clean sterilized container. Leave on conditioners are used after you wash your hair and before you style it. They are usually applied to towel dried hair. Unlike traditional conditioners, they are not washed out. This conditioner provides extra moisture to the hair, protects it from damage, and helps detangle the strands. All hair types can benefit from this conditioner but it is particularly useful if you have dry, damaged, or frizzy hair. This conditioner should be applied after shampooing. It can replace the conditioner that you would normally use in the shower, but you can use both if you want, especially if you have dry or damaged hair. It is best to apply this conditioner when your hair is still damp. Please check the description box below for a step-by-step -step guidance on how to apply this conditioner on the hair. Guys, we have come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching it. And thank you for your continued love and support. I would appreciate if you give the video a like, leave a comment, share it, and subscribe to my channel. I wish you a beautiful day and hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye and God bless you.